Closing in on 245 Indianapolis, 245 Indianapolis is one homicide shy of seeing and tying the record set from all of 2020. Mayor Joe Hogsett says a big chunk of the $420 million from the American Rescue Plan will go toward fighting crime. That will mean more officers on the streets and technology, but as News 8's Adam Pinsker reports, for that to work, the community will have to be involved as well. Chief Randall Taylor says he's disappointed that Indianapolis is very close to eclipsing the record set last year, but he says that the homicide rate here is comparable to other cities Indianapolis's size. If you drop by Executive Cuts Barbershop on 38th Street and Post Road, chances are you'll see Antonio Patton. But what I'm doing now is networking and partnering with multiple barbershops across Indianapolis that's in zip codes that is plagued by a lot of violence. Patton says sometimes a hairstylist may be the only person someone trusts to share their problems with. You wouldn't believe some of the conversations from a how you doing, how's your day go. You know, all of a sudden somebody like, man, be honest, I'm not doing so well. Patton is hoping this kind of dialogue can diffuse potential conflicts in the community. Mayor Joe Hogsett says the city remains laser focused on addressing the violence. He recently announced a three year, $15 million investment in community oriented crime prevention and crime reduction. Those efforts have already begun. In fact, just several weeks ago, I was right over here at the finish line Boys and Gir Girls Club announcing, uh, you know, our investment as a city in the support of the Voices program. IMPD Chief Randall Taylor acknowledges that there are many factors fueling the violence in Indianapolis and not every outreach program will solve the problem. Now we know historically there's people that are in the in the in the drug game, there's people that that fool with uh, gang mentality. We know uh, a lot of times they're going to end up in the coroner's office. And the chief says that the city is very close to purchasing what's called shot spotting equipment plus new cameras to be put up around town. And that purchase should be made by the end of the year or beginning of 2022. In Indianapolis, I'm Adam Pinsker for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Adam, thank you. IMPD is ramping up patrols to target reckless and aggressive driving, especially in school zones. The department released these numbers today. Since September 10th, IMPD has stopped nearly 1,100 cars. They've warned 155 drivers and issued almost 1,400 tickets. IMPD says it is stepping up enforcement in the north, northwest, and southeast districts as well. All three have seen several deadly crashes over the last few years. The department says it has issued more than 300 tickets.